Hello YouTube. This is a requested video for um a Malaysian Golden Gecko Care video that was requested by Leopard Gelco 492 and this is the video you requested. Okay, for starters, basic care on them. They're about if you know anything about Cresties, they're about like crusty geckos. They're arboreal. This cage is not perfect for him, but he will get a bigger cage as he gets bigger. He's almost into adulthood, but when he gets into adulthood, you can move him into a 20-gallon tank, tall, or you can move him into something like this. This is more preferred by them. Okay, for starter substrate, repti bark. You can mix it with a little bit of aspen. I like it, just solid repti bark. It looks cool. There's a heat mat under this side. This will be the warm side. It needs to say 75 to around uh, 80 the whole day and night. The heat mat will keep him around 75 all time. But the light just is better for viewing and it get, provides, it makes it go up to about 77 in the day. Right now it's at 75. I have the light off. You can get a cheap thermometer. You do not need a hydrometer for this animal. This animal is very easy to tell when it needs more humidity and everything. And by its color, when it has enough humidity, it'll be yellowish like that. When not, it'll turn more gray. So, okay, let's go. Basic supplies. Got this big hunk of wood by Exoterra. Um, don't really know. But we'll put that on the cool side. Okay, spread out the repti bark. Do not need much repti bark for these animals. These animals just need enough for ground cover. And if there is spot showing in repti bark, it does not matter. Especially for the cool side, you actually want a little bit of glass showing. This might be controversial because they might think it's too cold, but if he wants to get cold, he'll get cold. Okay. The second thing you need is jungle vine. Preferably, you want a piece of wood in there. I do not have my wood right now. My cousin is outside cleaning it. Preferably, you want a log-like thing that stretches from this side to the top adjacent corner. So they can climb like and sit like that. They love that. His wood won't be in this video. Unless my cousin brings it back. In. Okay, just the basic squiggly structure. And it's great. And I'll put this like this so when we do get the log in the tank, if we get it in the video, the log in the tank will be good. So. That's that. Basic climbing stuff. Greenery. They do need greenery. Bunches of greenery. I like crested geckos again. These are a tropical animal. And for the warm hide, I do not recommend any type of hide. Because it's a waste of your money. They won't go in it most of the time. Just buy them a bunch of greenery to hide in. And just pile it in one corner. Okay, if they want to be in the bushes, they'll go in that bush. If not, they won't. Very smart animals. See, that looks really good. And if you go to this side, it'll be great for viewing. Spread the bark around. I recommend a five-gallon heating thing. I'm sorry, Leopard Gelco, that this is going so fast. But if I need to go more in-depth, I can later if you request it covers everything but one thing just tell me and I'll fix that okay that's the basics other than the basic water dish like cresties they will not drink out of this a lot I know I keep saying like cresties that's because you should base this on a crusty gecko because if you start with a crusty gecko Malaysian geckos are 
kind of the next level up. They're just as easy to care for, but they're faster animals. And they climb like crested geckos. They're faster, they're bigger, bigger lengthwise. And they're just kind of another step, okay? We'll put the water in the bowl. Nothing special. Just. And I like to put the water on the vine so that it can actually drip. But you do need to mist it. Make sure you mist on the cool side. Okay, I'll just give you a basic misting thing. Mist on the cool side pretty good. And then mist on the warm side twice or so. There's a little bit of dampness on the warm side. Okay. We're almost done now. Mm, these animals do not need UVB because they're nocturnal. They do not need hardly any light. I actually believe that they would... If you have a nocturnal animal, it can live its whole life without any light. But the light just helps him regulate when it's time to go to sleep and everything. Sorry about that. Just dropped a little piece of the greenery. Put it back in. Looks like my cousin is not going to get that stick. But I could show you something else you could use. Okay, this is just a piece of decor. You could take it and put it like, if you can imagine this, leaning up where there's a flat spot. Because actually these are great creatures. See that? There's not much room in beneath that. He will sometimes be completely under the rock. And if you're not too careful, you'll actually believe that you have let him, that he has escaped. And these are escape artist animals. So here's what I recommend. You don't have to. You can have the plain screen top. But I have seen and heard of these animals getting out of a plain screen top. So, what you do is I have this cage up high because I do have little kids that could be running around. My brother's son and daughter are about three and so. So I keep this cage up to where she, they can't get at him. See, locking cage, it keeps the lid tight and on it. These are great and we'll get the lid. The lid is great too because for these animals you need some place like that. Actually, you can most of the time find them sitting on the lid. Now you can get a clamp lamp like for my le my leopard geckos, but I do not suggest that. I suggest just okay. This is kind of harder to get, but. It's such wa low wattage, it's actually a 10 watt. I got a little tiny and 10 watt bulb in there, but it brings it up to 77 degrees. That's perfect. But it actually comes with a Leopard Gecko starter kit, which I have a different animal in now. And I had two of these. There's the tank to it. So it's perfect size, but if you can't get something that takes really low watts, get a clamp lamp and put a low watt bulb in it because you will provide too much heat for these animals and they will not die until they're at constant heat around 92 degrees but above that you're risking their life and if you're gonna risk their life just so for no apparent reason there's nothing to get the animal so let me show you, see, just a little bit of basics about them, they are extremely fast animals and I am an experienced person with them and have trouble sometimes catching him because he is really fast, beautiful color, that's how you tell, again remember that, that's how you can tell if they got enough humidity, and there he is in his home that I have cleaned and redone just for you Leopard Gelco 492 thank you and I'll leave you with this it's only a 10 gallon